Cape Town, this, this might be the most stunning environment I've ever been to because it's, um, it seems like it has every terrain. There's mountains, the beach, it's, it's incredible. We, I took a walk along the coast here yesterday and I uh, realized quickly none of my photos are gonna do it justice. I posted something on Instagram saying, look, these are bad photos, man. I don't have enough equipment. I just have my phone. This is the most picturesque uh, environment I've, I've ever been to, actually. I haven't been here long, but I'm already blown away. So this is, this is great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm, I don't know much. I'm just going to get in the van and enjoy wherever they take me. Season two for Reed was tumultuous. He had a, a, basically a drug problem uh, he had to overcome. Um, his mentor betrayed him, essentially, and he had to take her down, so that was wearing on him. It was a dark time uh, last year for Edgar. So he, he, it was kind of a reset, resetting who, his, who, who he could trust, resetting his own behaviors and habits or bad habits. Um, so Reed was kind of left picking up the pieces at the end of the second season, hoping to improve his life and regain control. So much about Reed is, is about control. He seems to be in control for the most part. He lost that a little bit in the second season. So he's on the road to reclaiming his control. He's on the road to reclaiming his control uh, at the end of the second season. Well, with Reed being in, in the leadership position now, uh, really early on in the season, he realized that he's okay with delegating. He doesn't have to control everything. Now, control's a lot for Reed. I've been saying it a lot today. But he, he, he's also aware that he doesn't, he, you know, he can give tasks to other people and identify everyone's strengths. Um, so with that, it was kind of seamless to, you know, uh, reestablish Weller and everybody else on the team. So going into the finale, I think it's the team's kind of a well-oiled machine. Even though there's still mystery there with working with the CIA, they're always shady. Um, but uh, I think Reed going into the finale, his leadership role—it's already cemented. Everybody knows what their strengths are, and it's a team, you know. So there's somebody in leadership, but it's a team at the end of the day. And I think Reed understands that. For me, what's great about playing Reed is he's so disciplined and I'm not. So it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, I, I guess in my personal life, I wish I was um, as astute or as disciplined as Reed. But it's, it's kind of fun to be the straight man, you know, uh, you know, considering the fact that I don't, I'm not always so disciplined. I like my sweets, you know, but, um, that, I think that, that's been the most fun for me to play. Um, I basically get up, wear t-shirt, shorts all the time, so to come to work and dress up and be in a three-piece suit is kind of, it kind of gets me out of my element and it kind of feels like I'm stepping into another person's shoes, which, which I kind of am. Um, so, you know, again, I like to wear t-shirt and shorts and go out in sneakers, but I have to come to work and wear a three-piece suit. Listen, I'm doing this to avoid a job where I have to wear a suit, and ironically, most days I have to wear a suit. So that's, that's so same thing, make you laugh, make you cry. So that's kind of the hardest part, is just um, getting uncomfortable the minute I come to work. But after a few minutes, I'm comfortable in that new skin so to speak, that might sound weird. So. For season three, um, and Reed has stressed it several times, time is of the essence, and we need to track Crawford down today. Um, so I think that's that's all I'll say about that. You know, we there's 
one more episode. We've been looking for this guy and time is of the essence. So I think some significant progress will be made in that regard. We're in South Africa because we have made significant progress in, in tracking Crawford Downs. So, um, and also in a lot of ways, in, in terms of, of Jane and Roman, this is kind of where it started for, uh, for them. So it's, this is ground zero in a lot of ways for the entire show. So it, it's kind of good that we're, I guess, coming full circle. It didn't start. Here. We got here and figured out that it started here, but now it's complicated. Martin Wright's a complicated show. But um, yeah, we're in South Africa because we've made progress in, in tracking down Crawford. Are you chasing him? Yes, we've been chasing Crawford for a long time. And uh, he's been doing a lot of bad around the world for a long time, longer than we could remember. So uh, we've been chasing Crawford and now we're here in South Africa trying to, trying to nail him down.